back to the channel everybody thanks for joining in to another Datsun 1200 USA Club video on this video we have an exciting new project the Datsun 210 Granny Smith it's a newly acquired project that picked up a little while ago and today we took it out for a drive up to the lake and we discuss what we're going to do with this new project so stay tuned Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks. Enjoy the video. Here's the new project car, newly acquired, and uh, it's a pretty original car. Um, it's a survivor car that spent a lot of time in the south where they don't salt the roads, which is why it's, uh, it's got a pretty good body to it. Um, overall, it's not too bad. It's very original. And uh, my plans really are to not go too crazy with this one. Uh, just do some minimal work to it and polish it up a little bit. Maybe change the, change the wheels and tires. Uh, maybe do a no, new front lip on it. I really want to get rid of the fat bumpers that they had back then in the late 70s and pick the bumpers that were issued up on the JDM cars because they look a lot better and they're all chrome one piece and they tuck in real nice it's got usual old car problems you know broken emblems and stuff and these rubber seals are all shot so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, replace a lot of these rubber seals it's got these really nice chrome uh, window covers here It's got a lot of the original chrome trim, which is nice uh, Even the windshield and stuff like that has the original chrome trim to it But it's missing little 
bits and pieces here and there that uh you know we'll try to acquire those and see what we can do but overall really like the car um it took a lot to get it running and driving i had a lot of electrical problems with it and so i've already done a bunch of work to the car just to be able to get it running and driving all right let's have a look at the engine bay real quick so overall a lot of the wiring i had to in this area replace something funky was going on here had some electrical issues popping fuses and um, grounds weren't quite uh, making good ground uh, at some point i think it'll need a new radiator i replaced the carburetor already with a weber 3236 and a lot of the electrics i did the alternator coil stuff with the distributor had to replace already the windshield wiper pump that wasn't working so it's got some new tubing and everything like that um basic wiring repairs a uh, water temperature sensor was bad so we replaced that already and what else have we done just little pieces here and there just to get it up and running again but overall it's pretty solid like i said it's a pretty solid car there's no no big rust issues in here a uh, little bit of rust under the battery a little bit of rust down there but maybe i'll just hit that with some rust treatment for now um, this is not the original motor i forgot to mention that the original motor um, the previous owner blew it up so this is actually a an a12 off a of sunny truck uh, imported and uh, for now I'm just gonna run this it's a little underpowered for the car I will say I'd like to have a bit of a bigger engine in it maybe the a15 the big boy put it in there and get a whole hundred horsepower out of it because right now she's pretty lacking going up hills and stuff like that I got to drop it down to second gear just to make it up the hills so um, did some tuning on it got the timing right changed the spark plugs stuff like that a friend of mine helped me adjust the valves so we got it pretty much getting as much power as we can out of it um so like i said i would like to maybe put the original engine back in or get get the a15 uh, i'm not going to do an engine swap or anything crazy like that on this one so check out that really cool original sticker there nissan motor company a14 that's what it had in it was the a14 so it tells you right there timing marks and all that cool stuff idle speed uh this uh i don't know whether this was automatic or manual uh, i think i'm guessing it was manual to begin with because of the center console uh, but it does have a four speed in it right now ignition timing 10 degrees before top dead center that's good that's exactly what i said it to and i didn't even really read this i should have read it before i started to tune on it but didn't even notice it was there till now to be honest with you that's the original plate there it's a bit worn out now so being down south the car got pretty heavily hit with sun i don't think it was garage it might have been garage who knows it looks like the original paint was some sort of green as well but I, I like it i'm gonna keep it green i'm not gonna do a color change or nothing like that one cool feature the 210 has is uh and the fastback for the 1200 has as well my fastback has it but you can drop the seats down and have all this as cargo space and you got a lot of cargo space to it um this is just a splash shield for underneath but i mean having a look in here it's all pretty solid very happy with that so turned out well having a look at the interior I just got a bunch of little crap in here at the moment but uh, looks like the seats are missing the headrests I mean they're pretty pretty shot maybe time for some new seats uh, the interior is pretty rough around the edges but it's all there this piece here was broken funny enough when I pulled that piece off, there was a giant wasps or bees nest right here. I'll show you a photo of what that looked like. Um, thank God the bees were gone.
when I opened that up. That would have been a bad time. Uh, door cards look pretty good. Uh, somebody had a CD player and speakers and stuff like that, but I don't I don't bother with any of that. Let's take a look back here. And uh, I like that the windows back there pop open. Nice little feature. So might might get the back seat redone. I think that's in order here. Um, but I'm bringing pretty much keep it original. I picked up these new tan seats that I was gonna put in my 1200 that I might actually use. Might actually work better in this car. Um, from what I've been told, this is kind of a rare option steering wheel, and uh, I don't. I'm not an expert on the 210. Um, by the way, it's also called the B310 because uh, it came after the B210. And um, what else can I say? Uh, what was I going to go? Yeah, I'm not an not an expert on the trim. I don't know exactly if this is a rare option or not. But feel free to leave a comment if you do know. Uh, no tachometer in it, unfortunately. It's got the rear defroster, a bunch of lights there. This controls the darkness or lightness of the gauges. So you get a temperature gauge, fuel gauge, a speedometer it says 73358. Doubt that's the original mileage. Uh, that right there doesn't do much. I imagine that's where a tachometer might go. It just has the oil and amp. And over there is probably where an old clock goes. Something down there, which I don't know. And uh, regular controls for the fan. It's got an ashtray, four speed shifter. Looks like original console and leather boot. And the glove box. So um, that could be replaced with a new one. And uh, yeah. So uh, got these 13-inch rims on it. Um, baby Supras. Probably not going to keep them. They're just not my style. Drum brakes in the rear. Front's got the original um, hubs and brakes, disc brakes on the front. This, uh, as you can see, is a bit wonky. Uh, I already replaced the hub on the other side because one of these was loose, one of these wheel studs, and that was kind of a pain in the ass, but I'm going to have to do it again on this one. And I didn't bother to put a lug nut on that because you'll never get it off uh, with that being loose. So gonna have to replace the hub I'm actually thinking about maybe putting a whole new aftermarket front struts in it or some sort of coil overs or something with maybe some bigger brakes but then I'm not gonna be able to run 13 so that's something to think about all right well that's pretty much the video and uh, I'm gonna close it up loud Oops. anyway um, all right guys well that's the car in a nutshell and uh, what my plans are to do for the future and uh, look for some more videos on the granny Smith project and if you liked the video let me know as always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.